फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर इज फाइनली कमिंग टू एन एंड लास्ट टू डेज लेफ्ट फ्राइडे बिंग एन हॉलीडे आई पोस्टेड अ वीडियो ऑन टेक्स लॉस हार्वेस्टिंग कपल ऑफ वीक्स बैक आई एड रिसीव फ्यू क्लैरिफिकेशन ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट आई एम पोस्टिंग रिस्पॉन्स टू दो इन दिस वीडियो आई ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट वन टेक्स लॉस हार्वेस्टिंग फेल एट माई एंड एन एक्सपीरियंस वेर आई वैलिटेड माई ओन रूल्स एंड रिड्यूज माई प्रॉफिट सिग्निफिकेंटली नो आई डेंट फेस एनी लॉसेज हाउ आर द फोर सेबल प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम टेक्स लॉस हार्वेस्टिंग गॉट सिग्निफिकेंटली रिड्यूज This is an example of a microfinance company which I have been holding for several years. I invest in it as well as trade. It is called Satin Credit Care. It is a small cap company. The stock touched 280 plus levels earlier this year in January, and it went below 200 just few weeks back. These are excellent stocks for trading if you can understand the movement part of it. In the microfinance pack also, this is among the cheaper stocks, though it is a pretty old company. I have been following this company for several years now. The pandemic created havoc for most of the companies in the microfinance space. The red columns clearly illustrate the havoc of pandemic on the company, where collections were very low, but the expenses still kept on incurring, leading to losses and negative EPS. The company is finally out of the woods in terms of EPS. One good element is that the promoters have diluted a bit of equity. Now, nearly twenty percent is held by FIIs and DIIs, which was the major weakness of this stock before the last quarter, where the dilution happened. Now, my decision was influenced by this update, where Saturn is meeting on Thursday to raise funds. Typically, these funds are raised from time to time to augment the money they raise from investors and banks for microfinance funding needs. Typically, the market sees these in good light, and the stock bounces a little. while this is a precedent but not necessarily going to happen this time also the revenue has been rising steadily ever since december 2020 the eps was negative a bit then it started improving and now firmly it is between 10 11 and 12 rupees kind of zone per quarter if you see the last two columns which is september 23 and december 23 while the profit has increased the eps has reduced the simple reason being that the equity has been diluted there are lot many shareholders now and the number of shares outstanding in the market is significantly higher now the rules which i talked about in my own video but i violated the first one was i sold in the morning and not in the evening i had recommended in the video better sell around 3 pm but i sold in the morning when there was a slight spike in the stock price the second fail was i had clearly mentioned that we should avoid weekends and specifically long weekends and holidays i violated that also monday was a holiday I took the sell trade last week, so there were three days in between. Now this is where the news of the investor meet on Thursday came in. We have to reduce the probability of these events happening and affecting the stock price. The third fail was I shorted. I did not go long. The prime reason being the quantity was high. I did not have funds to first buy and then sell. So I thought I'll first sell and then buy. I carried on one large trade. I should have broken this down into two or three trades ideally. But then I was running towards the end of the financial year. I didn't have enough time to do it into three or four trades. The message being overconfidence is injurious to your financial health. Now let's get into the trade and how it panned out. I had six thousand quantity which I sold at two hundred ten levels. I had bought them at two sixty levels. Overall, a fifty rupee loss per share. Loss booked six thousand into fifty. Three lakh rupees. Note that this is a net reduction in my capital by booking the loss. Because of this loss, STCG at fifteen percent tax loss harvesting profit is forty five thousand rupees, which means I could offset a forty five thousand rupees profit with this loss. Now, while I was waiting for this stock to correct, maybe go to two hundred and make a little more money, which means I was greedy. I got panicked today because the stock started rising. And I finally bought at two hundred fourteen. Two hundred sixteen is written here because I have added two rupees for brokerage charges on both legs of the transaction. So shorting loss for me is six rupees. Six thousand into six, thirty six thousand loss. Net profit, however, forty five thousand saved from the tax loss harvesting part. Thirty six thousand loss, nine thousand. Had this stock been favorable to me, less than two hundred ten. This profit would have been much higher. This example is just to illustrate that a lot of us think tax loss harvesting will always be profitable. That is not the case. If the stock movement is not in favor of your trade, then it could lead to net losses also. 